My channel so in today's video I'm gonna show you guys this super easy fall makeup look and I'm gonna share some beginner friendly tips with you guys to achieve a perfect fall makeup look if you're new hi my name is Jackie or you can call me Jack Jack welcome to my channel make sure you hit that red subscribe button to officially become part of the little flower family and you won't miss out on any upcoming videos also be sure to hit the notification bell so that way you are notified every time I upload new videos who else is like super obsessed with fall makeup? I love when I can just rock a dark smoky eye or a dark lip in the middle of the day without anybody questioning it. It just goes with the season. So I'm super excited about fall and I'm super excited to share this makeup look with you guys. Even though I believe all of my makeup tutorials are very simple and easy to understand and very beginner friendly, before we do the actual tutorial, I wanna share some like super easy beginner tips for you guys to transition your everyday makeup into a more fall appropriate makeup look. Starting with tip number one, which is darker bold lips. So this can be anything from like a red lip or a berry lip or a dark rich vampy lip like what I have today or even brown lips so so gorgeous during fall. The easiest way to get a perfect application on your lips whether you're using a lipstick or liquid lipstick is to use a lip liner but if you don't have a lip liner like today for this look I didn't have a lip liner I'll show you guys how you can just use some concealer to clean up the edges. Lip liner is super important because it helps to keep your lip color again whether it's lipstick or liquid lipstick it helps prevent it from feathering out and it also just kind of creates this barrier so like once you trace out the edges Edges of your lips you can take your lip color and just kind of fill it in and it's just a lot easier and you don't have to worry about having like crooked lines or it's spreading out past your lip line anything like that so that's why I highly recommend using a lip liner but again if you don't have a lip liner you can use concealer and I'll show you in the tutorial how I use the concealer to clean up the edges around my lips today I feel like the next essential and my next tip is to not be afraid to rock a darker smoky eye but with that I do have some tips on how to avoid like panda raccoon eyes or just like a black eye effect stay away from like black white and silver especially like mixing those three colors together especially if you're at a beginner level just trying to blend those colors out on your eyelid will definitely guarantee you a black eye effect especially like grays and silvers mixed together with black it can just make your eyes look very very tired if you don't apply it properly. I'm not saying don't ever use black don't ever use white don't ever use silver but just the combination of those three like usually in my experience at least are not so flattering I would definitely recommend finding colors that would flatter your eye color or your skin tone so try to find like copper shades or browns golds um, burgundy shades like what I have today like this eye look I did today there's no black eyeshadow at all so we can avoid like the tired looking zombie eyes so yeah make sure you choose your eyeshadow colors wisely and when we move into fall season and we rock like darker eyes and darker lips we want to balance that out with our face so I like to keep my face very fresh and bright so that way it's not like all just super heavy and just weighing my face down so stick with like bronzers and blushes that just brighten up your face rather than darken and deepen your face um, and don't skip out on the highlight for sure it just gives you that kind of dewy youthful look and glow to your skin that will help balance out the heaviness and darkness of the eyes and the lips Hopefully those tips were helpful for you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial and I will show you guys how I got this look. So to save some time on this video, since I spent like four minutes talking in the intro, I went ahead and did my brows and my face makeup. So now we can move on to the eyes. I'm taking my Modern Renaissance palette. I think this is just the perfect palette for fall. I love the shades in here and the quality of these eyeshadows are just so incredible. So I'm starting off with Raw Sienna, which is this matte um, kind of orangey brown shade. I'm going to blend that into my crease with a fluffy blending brush and I'm just moving the brush back and forth in windshield wiper motions to blend that out. 
So this color is going to be our transition shade. So I'm just going to continue blending that and I'm going up pretty close towards my brow bone, but not all the way. So once that's nice and blended out, I'm gonna take this red shade called Red Orcher, Orker, and I'm going to take that on a flat C-shaped brush like this and place that right on my lid. So I'm just going to pack that on my lid and I'm gonna stay below the raw sienna color that we put in our crease. So this is just staying right here on our lid. And then I'm gonna go in with a smaller detailed brush to get right on in the inner corner because I wasn't able to get that with the C-shaped brush that I was using. With this matte chocolate brown shade called Cypress Umber. I have no idea if I'm saying these names correctly or not. This, this palette has really complicated eyeshadow names in my opinion. But I am taking this on a fluffy brush and I'm blending that right in the crease where the transition shade and the red shade that we put on the lid, right where they meet. So this is going right in the middle. So I'm just going to blend that in with windshield wiper motions. And I am concentrating the color on the outer corner of my eye because that's where I want the smokiness to be of this eyeshadow look. And then with a little more of that raw sienna color, I'm just going to blend out the edges on the top. And if you feel like you lost a little bit of that red shade, you can definitely go back and add a little bit more to intensify it. So now moving on, I'm going to take this shade called Tempera, which is a matte creamy kind of color. I'm going to use that on my brow bone to highlight. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Primavera, which is a shimmery kind of highlight color. I'm gonna take that on the same brush and just get the very top and like the arch part of my brow bone and highlight just right there. So there's that little shine and that little highlight. And I'm also going to highlight the inner corner of my eyes as well. Now I'm gonna take my Too Faced Cosmetics and Candy Johnson Candy Liner to line my eyes and I am creating a wing. You can definitely skip out on this part if you're not comfortable with eyeliner or winged liner. This look still looks super awesome with just some mascara on top. If you have the Candy Liner from Too Faced Cosmetics and the Candy Johnson collaboration, you know that it has a very unique applicator and the best way that I have found to use it is to really use it as a stamp. So I just press the product right onto my eyelid to create the shape that I want. So I'm just going to finish up my wing here and then we can move on to mascara. I'm just gonna use some Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara to coat my lashes and then I'm going to move into falsies because I'm obsessed with falsies. So these ones I believe are from the Bold Face Makeup and they are in the style Just Own It. So moving on to the lower lash line, I'm actually gonna use these same three shades that we used earlier. So starting with Raw Sienna, I'm going to brush that onto my lower lash line. And then moving on to the Red Orcher, Red Orker shade, I'm also going to brush that onto my lower lash line. And then lastly, Cypress Umber, Umber, I have no idea how to pronounce these shades. I'm gonna place that on the outer half of my lower lash line. So now to finish off the eyes, I'm just going to take a black eyeliner pencil to line my waterline, and this one is from e.l.f. Cosmetics. And then I'm just going to quickly finish off with some mascara on the bottom lashes, and the eyeshadow look is complete, so now we can move on to the lips, and I am using this lipstick from Makeup Geek. This is from the Iconic Lipstick collection or line from Makeup Geek, and it's in the shade Witty, which is this really beautiful, deep, deep, burgundy kind of red shade and it's gorgeous and it's a cream lipstick so it's nice and hydrating on the lips and I don't have a lip liner which kind of sucks because I definitely recommend using a lip liner if you can to get a precise line around your lips because as you can see mine kind of feathered out a little bit but if you don't have a lip liner here is how you can clean it up I'm just taking my concealer and a tiny lip brush to clean up the edges especially around my mess up areas but you can go around your entire lips but just make sure you blend out the concealer so there is no like harsh lines and you can't like obviously see that you just place concealer around your entire lip. And to go over that, I'm using a foiled lip gloss also from Makeup Geek, and this is in the shade Drum Roll. It's this beautiful metallic, like kind of like a burgundy purpley shade, and it just adds this rich, deep vampiness to this lip look, and I absolutely love it. 
So that completes this easy fall makeup look. I'm so in love with how this turned out and I hope you guys liked it and try it out. Make sure you tweet me pictures if you do because I'd love to see your recreations and let's go ahead and cue the outro. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful. I'm definitely interested in doing more fall makeup looks for you guys. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments. I, I feel like I want to step outside my comfort zone and do like not so traditional type of fall looks because I feel like this look right here is a very traditional fall look, like a burgundy smoky eye and vampy lip. I feel like that's very traditional. But I'd love to share fall makeup looks with you guys that are a little less traditional. So let me know if you guys are interested in seeing something like that. And if you haven't subscribed yet, girl, what are you waiting for? Just hit that red subscribe button and the little bell so that way you are notified every time I upload. And in case YouTube is acting glitchy because YouTube has been doing that quite often now, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So in case you're not getting the notifications, be sure to come back to my channel on those days for new videos. And I will see you guys then. Bye!